Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, of course, my name is Martin. I work as a delivery driver in Exeter, working with Delivery, Uber, Stuart, uh, Just Eat, and a few parcel companies. Uh, so today's video is about the email that you may or may not have received today from Deliveroo and the GMB. So uh, they have now agreed on a new pay floor amount. Um, so I've mentioned it in a few other videos before, so I'll quickly go over it. Basically, the pay floor is uh, the amount of time that Deliveroo expects for a, a delivery to take. Um, so they're guaranteeing that now with the GMB they've they've guaranteed that not only will they pay national living wage, but they're now guaranteeing twelve pounds per hour plus expenses. Um, expenses vary uh, whether you're on a bicycle, moped, car, etc. Uh, for me, I'm driving around in a car, so my expenses um, as um, Delivery sees it are four pound twenty seven an hour, so that means that I should be getting for every order um, an amount that would add up to if I did a whole hour's worth of deliveries, uh, sixteen pound twenty seven an hour. Importantly, it only applies to time on a delivery run. So if I do a delivery and from uh, me accepting the order to me dropping it off, it takes fifteen minutes. I should get fifteen minutes off. Uh, 16 pounds and 27p if I do the order um, from pick up to drop off and it takes a whole hour then they should pay me 16 pounds and 27p exactly um, so they're saying that uh, this should uh, this is likely to increase uh, this is an increase sorry of 15% year on year so 15% more than minimum national, minimum, national living wage um, they also go on to say that they think this is going to affect up to half a million orders per year. However, the things that they don't address is things like, uh, but what happens if it takes longer? Um, how are they calculating um, how long an order should take? Because it's only based on how, how long delivery thinks an order should take. From what I gather, can see, they are very much taking um, the time on Google Maps, say, to and the time on Google Maps from. And there doesn't seem to be very much leeway for um, excess traffic, waiting for the customer, waiting for the restaurant, etc. So on the face of it, it is an increase in pay, so that is good. But I think there are still questions to ask um, about what about orders that fall below this? Because there's always gonna be orders that fall below this. I did an experiment last week that showed three out of four of my orders actually were lower than the national living wage plus expenses so but what about these orders there's no uh, mechanism in place to change them there's no waiting time pay at a restaurant etc there's no like pay that you can't like appeal your pay and get it re-sorted out you know you might be able to if you actually go through sending them an email but how, how many times are you going to send an email to ask them to review pay? Um, also, other things that they haven't looked at that I think they should be looking at is things like, are are the apps doing enough to combat uh, things like people driving in different vehicle types to the one they're meant to be in, so thus paying less in insurance costs, bringing up the insurance costs for everybody else? Uh, what about people renting accounts when they're not meant to be renting accounts so working illegally um order volume as well seems to be so much lower than it was before that needs to be brought up so there's definitely questions still to be answered but that's my initial thoughts what what do you guys think have you read the email uh what do you think about this announcement 